Hello Youtubers, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate your RDP client, PSM client, or this free Devolutions Remote Desktop Manager with your CyberArk. As you can see, I already have CyberArk lab set up at my home. I have PSM, PBWA, Vault and Domain Controller. So I can log in using either LDAP or CyberArk. I'm going to use CyberArk authentication to log in into my CyberArk lab environment. So in the next chapter, I'm going to start to talk about how to integrate Remote Desktop Manager, also this PSM client, with this cyber environment, lab environment. So now let's start it. So let's start with PSM client, which you can download it from CyberArk Marketplace. It's completely free and it's very small size application developed by CyberArk, only one Mac. Comparing to Devolutions Remote Desktop Manager, which is 340 megabytes, this is really small and really, really light to your system resources. So let's start with this one. I already downloaded so once you unzipped it, you should be able to get the PSM Connection Manager and the PSM Easy Connect. You can either use both. For me, I'm going to use in PSM Easy Connect.exe file. Double click it. Now, then you need to put some information. Of course, you need to put your PVW URL here. So let's grab it from my current installation and paste it in. So authentication type, you're going to choose different LDAP, radius, ammo, PKI, blah, blah, blah. But I can use the CyberArk, which is I already logged in using my CyberArk account. There's a couple of connection settings, map the local drive, you connect smart card or connect via HTML5 if allowed. So that's a fancy feature here, which is current devolutions. RDM doesn't support it. So if you're looking for using HTML5, you're probably going to stick with PSM client. Else, I will talk about how to integrate devolutions dashboard with CyberArk. So now let's save it and so now I'm going to use in PSM Easy Connect to connect to it. So let's double click. So you will see this login required. And it's asking you to log in to your PSM. Type the username and password to log in. So right away, we logged in. There's some benefit here. You can see, you can see my requests, incoming requests, all those things will be integrated. So now you can search the account. So by now I can find out my available account being admin one, win admin two, win admin three, and other accounts. So for example, if I want to use win admin one, I want to log into the remote server. Uh, I should be able to use in the PSM server to log into remote server. So there's a small GUI interface hitting on the top of the window and you can easily use it to log into your remote server destination via PSM. So that's how we can use PSM um, if you want to use another one, 
which is let's take a look at PSM connection manager Before we can connect, we need to set up a PVWA. So there are a couple settings you may want to change. First thing, we need to grab our PVWA URL into here. Of course, you want to set up uh, SSL validation is no. And there's other settings you can choose. I will leave it as default for now and then save. Now we can try to connect into it. Click sign in, and then you can put the username password in. And using my admin2 account. So then you connect to it. Once you connect into it, you can see all of your accounts here. Your Windows account, your save. Then you can directly using it RTP or you have other options you can connect to it RTP to it then you can put the, um, your target server IP here then you will be able to log in So it's, it's really simple and straightforward to use if you're using this PSM client. So. For Devolutions RDM, uh, it's a commercial software. Um, if you Google for it, you will find quite a few documentation to talk about it. But, uh, Mostly those documentation are based on a commercial version. They were telling you how to use PSM to connect to your destination and how telling you how to integrate Cyber Dashboard with RDM. Again, those settings or templates you won't find it from free version. They're only available in the commercial version. But in this video, I'm going to quickly show you both uh, how it looks like. And hopefully that will give you a little bit of sense before you make a decision to go with commercial version. For the free edition, search for it. There's a zip and MSI. I always like zip so you don't have to install it. So I will download it and unzip it and come back to continue the video. I already downloaded uh, the Volution Remote Desktop Manager and unzipped it. You will find exe file to run this program, Remote Desktop Manager. Double click on it, then you will see this icon shows up. Then you are gonna go through the data source onboarding process. You can do online, so you can connect to the Evolution website and downloading your configuration directly from there, or you can create a local one. So I put this demo purpose and just uh, create my own using the standard settings. Finish. So then I create my own local data source. After that, you should be able to create your own entry. It's a welcome page, the dashboard. Right now I'm using free version. I already created my first Microsoft Remote Desktop entry. So you can do that by going through the wizard. You need a Microsoft RDP template then you're gonna populate with the information so to make it simple I already have one so I name it as a PSM RTP I put in a lab folder it's embedded so here is the information you need to put it in the host this is our PSM server 
IP. So because we need to connect into our PSM, and from PSM, then we're going to launch a command to go to a destination. So here is diagram we were using all the time for this lab. So this is our PSM server. So we are connecting to PSM server using RDP, then from RDP using a command line string, PSM string, and then connecting to one of our testing server. This time I'm going to use our domain controller as test server. So basically this host is our PSM IP, and we put the username, password, domain in, uh, most important part is here. So we're going to use a PSM string username. We're going to use in privilege account. This is our privilege account. Once you logged in with this user, pen user one, this user will need to be able to get this account, privilege account, and to log into our target server using PSM-RDP connector. So that's the magic of the string here. Once you have this, you don't need to know this privilege account password. You only need to know your user's password. So let's see how, how that goes. Just to right click, open session. I'll click here, open session, then because we choose embedded, so we are going to, to embedded the PSM session into our RDM. Just want to make sure we are in the right server. We are using Win admin one logged in to our DC01, which IP is 192.168.111.11. You don't need any license. You already can use PSM to log in to your target server. So that's our first step. So now we, I'm going to show you how to use commercial version to do the integration and how you can use the dashboard to connect to your remote target server. Right now, I'm using free version. I'm going to switch to commercial version, which I have a trial for it. So I create another data source. As you can see, from a license perspective, I already have two licenses installed. I only have one month to play with it which you can get trial license from Devolution to play with it. So you need two licenses. One is Devolution Enterprise version license. Another one is CyberArk integration license. So you need two licenses to be able to use this CyberArk dashboard integration feature. So if you want more information, you can look at this dashboard configuration and the use documentation. So you will see lots of hidden template which you won't be able to find out from free version. So I already created my dashboard, but if you need to do that, you can do the same thing, just add a new entry. And then you search from a new entry, you search Cyborg. Now you will be able to see the cyber dashboard. Those will not be able to see it when you are using free version. So you have to get the enterprise version. You have to get the cyber integration license. Then you will be able to just use a cyber dashboard, select that, and then you should be able to create it. To make um, my video simpler, I already did that. Right now I can just show you the properties. So basically, I create a name, and then you need a web service URL, and the password vault will be on a virtual directory. If you are using previous cloud version, the same thing, just put that all the URL with privilege cloud as a virtual directory here, then you should be good to go. 
the version which the default is good enough. Authentication mode, you have multiple choice. You can use CyberArk or Windows LLDAP, Radius, SAML. If you are using privileged cloud, then you probably want to use SAML. But since I'm demo with the CyberArk, I'm using admin2. And you can put the password in. You can also choose always ask password. So I'm going to put password in to make it simple. Advanced, no need to make changes here. Or by default, uh, just one thing, you may have multiple connector. You can remove some or you can add some there. So right now we have multiple and multiple ones put in here, but you don't have to. All default settings, just put the like URL, virtual directory, and then choose your authentication mode and choose inside back. So update it and then open session. So you can have there's a certificate warning message which we we're seeing that from PSM client, we choose, ignore it, don't validate the certificate. For here, same thing, continue. So once you should continue, you, you connect to it, you log it in, it gave you an error because the certificate seems there. So, but actually you already logged in. So you can see the saves we have, so we have a couple of saves. Based on save, you have accounts. It shows up here. You also can show all accounts. So that's all accounts, or you can choose a specific save. And in a specific save, you have your account there. To use the account, it's very simple. Just click connect. Then you choose your connector, which component you want to use. Of course, PS RDP is the one we're going to use. And then you choose your destination. So that's our destination host. So we're going to choose OK. It will open a new tab. We're going to log in through PSM and using the account, the privileged account, to log in. Again, we're going to show you who am I. That's the account being admin2 and host the name and the IP address. So if you look at here, so we use the win admin to account. And in the dashboard here, if you look at the properties, our login is CyberArk login. But we are using privileged account to connect into remote destination. Uh, that's all for my today's video. I just want to show you how you can use PSM client, how you can use free version RDM and commercial version RDM to use CyberArk PSM to connect to your remote destination server. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give me a thumb up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do see you in my next video. Thank you.